You know, it was a really great thing to learn about Duelist Kingdom at the last minute once you've gotten here and you've spent four days on the island. The fact that they don't provide you with food or water. I wasn't expecting the tournament to last quite as long as it has, and I didn't bring enough supplies for even a week. So I've been foraging as best I can. They don't have any restaurants on the island. There's nothing. I thought there would be some sort of catering service, but Pegasus has kind of gypped everybody this time. I don't remember anybody starving to death in the previous Duelist Kingdom tournament, so I think I'll be okay. There was that time when they found those skeletons under the island, though. I mean, there's a Denny's, but I'm not an animal. Welcome to day four of Desert Island Dex, which is a series that uh, Masako X and Philly, his girlfriend, came up with brilliantly and I decided to ride them coattails. Because if I'm good at one thing, it's following other people's example. Such as when I was told that XYZ is pronounced Xyz. But in this series, I open a booster pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards every day, leading up to December 25th, where I'll be challenging the bastard Pegasus to a duel. Because he's a bastard. Yeah, bastard. Talk about Pegasus. And today, we have, once again, Pendulum Evolution. It's a pendulum, so of course it swings right back to me. I'm pretty excited because I remember being really happy with the cards that I got out of this one. And uh, so I'm hoping to get some equally good ones from this. Last Pendulum Evolution, I got a uh, Double Iris Magician that I accidentally called Double Irish Magician. So here we go with more Pendulum em pend pendulum Evolution. What have we got in here? Oh, oh okay. This one's a... A pretty fancy looking one. It's a pendulum monster, as you'd expect. And it's Chronograph Sorcerer. What is a chronograph? A chronograph is a specific type of watch that is used as a stopwatch combined with a display watch. Just say watch. Just say you're the watch sorcerer. Just say that you're a magician of digital watches. Is the screen on your watch too dark to read late at night? Well, watch as I use my sorcerer's powers to illuminate the screen by pressing the button on the side of it. Bloody watch sorcerer. So chronograph sorcerer, what do you do? Oh, there's a lot of information. During your main phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do, take one Time Gazer Magician from your hand or deck, and either place it in your Pendulum Zone or Special Summon it. You can only use this effect of Chronograph Sorcerer once per turn. And then there's a bunch of information about other things at the bottom that is just so wordy. I'm in no need of a watch sorcerer. Do I look like I have a watch? If I want to know the time, I'll look up there. No need for your sorcery, sir. Speaking of watch sorcerer, Time Pendulum Graph. I mean, I understand the gist of the pendulum is to, like, keep track of time. You know, like a grandfather the clock. But when you're talking about a series that has like massive f off dragons in it, no matter how many clocks you throw at it, it's not gonna do jack. Here's the effect. Your opponent cannot target spellcaster type monsters you control with trap cards or effects. You can only use the following effect of time pendulum pendulum graph. Time pendulum graph once per turn. You can target one magician pendulum monster card in your monster zone or pendulum zone and one card your opponent controls. Destroy them. Then if this effect did not destroy two cards, you can send one card on the field to the graveyard. They spelled it out! They didn't put GY! Massive error. I for one am shocked. I got a text from Megami33 when I started learning about the GY thing, and she was like, oh, I hate that they call it the GY. It's such a Jaden thing to do. And I was like, yeah, it is. It's a very Jaden thing to do. Hey man, I'm gonna throw down a face down into your GY. Yu-Gi-Oh! GY. Generation Y. So I don't think this trap card will help me that much, because I'm not gonna have a very well-structured deck anyway. So this wouldn't really affect any of my monsters, I imagine. So I'm just gonna skip that one. I've seen this card before, and my goodness. Rescue Hamster. Possibly one of the most adorable Yu-Gi-Oh cards I've ever encountered. Looks like something out of Paw Patrol, which I only know of because my friend X the Dark One's son loves it. I don't watch it religiously. I don't edit Paw Patrol Wikipedia pages on a daily basis. That's not me. It's not my bag. So Rescue Hamster. What kind of emergency situation would a hamster be able to help in, by the way? Look out, that building's on fire. Don't worry, I'll lob a gerbil at it. It. Problem solved. Rescue hamster. And it looks like his uh, his rescue kit is just a bunch of green rope. So if you're not in a situation that requires you to climb up or down things, rescue hamster really isn't that useful. So it's a pendulum monster. It says you can banish this card from your pendulum zone, add two face-up pendulum monster cards with the same name from your extra deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of rescue hamster once per duel. This card was normal summoned this turn and you have a face-up level five or lower pendulum monster card, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's rescue hamster. I think its quality speaks for itself. Oh, we got a fusion monster and it's Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. That's from Arc 5. I know that much. I'm very unfamiliar with the deep lore of Yu-Gi-Oh. I know I like the show. I'm not obsessive about the details. So if there's times in these videos where you're like, I thought you liked Yu-Gi-Oh. 
I do. I just don't know literally everything. I want to say I know about 30% of the information I should know. Should know. That you'd expect me to know, I guess I mean. So in order to fuse this, you need to get one Odd Eyes monster and one Pendulum monster. When this guy is special summon, you can target one face-up attack monster with your opponent controls, return it to their hand. During either player's turn, when a spell or trap card or another monster's effect is activated, you can shuffle one face-up Pendulum monster from your extra deck into the deck. Negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. This is pretty powerful. You can only use each effect of Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon once per turn. But it's got an attack of 2500 and a defense of 3000. If I had the monsters required to summon this, this would go in my deck in a heartbeat. As is, Rescue Hamster currently edges it out. Enlightenment Paladin. He's woke. Enlightenment Paladin sounds like a really positive term for a social justice warrior. I'm gonna start calling them that now. It's a spellcaster. It's a synchro monster. Synchro what? You're all gonna say it in the comments, so I'll beat you to it. Uh, it's uh, an effect monster. Uh, it says you need one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters to summon it. If this card is synchro summoned using a magician pendulum monster as material, you can target one spell card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. This is why I get confused about the phrasing on these things. You can pick one spell card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. I guess there's a semicolon there. Just say and you can add it to your hand, mate. You can only use the effect of Enlightenment Paladin once per turn. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can inflict damage to your opponent. I don't even need to read the rest of that. I know which card I'm picking. Rescue Hamster. Are you in danger? I've got a bit of green rope, will that help? Rescue Hamster, I wish you could rescue me from this island. But unfortunately, I don't think that rope will stretch all the way back to California. You never know. So yeah, now I have my fourth Yu-Gi-Oh card that I'll be putting right into my deck to duel Pegasus in the Duelist Kingdom Finals. That will totally be in, yeah! Fingers crossed. Wanna give a special shout out to all our Patreon pledges down there at the bottom of the screen. These guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for all your support. You guys make this happen. Speaking of making things happen, Marsico X on his channel is also opening card packs that are Dragon Ball themed, and I highly recommend you checking him out. He's doing like an advent calendar thing for Christmas. Go wander over to his channel and tell him I said hi. Tell him Rescue Hamster is available if he needs it. In case he needs rescuing from that lovely room with the warm open fire. Rescue Hamster! ch ch ch, -ch Rescue Hamster! I'm off to find food! Wish me luck!